what's the difference between doing a triceps extension where your arm is over your head like this versus something like this where your arms are at your sides and you are doing a triceps extension like this? Well, both of these variations are going to train all the triceps. That's for sure. But there are subtle differences in terms of the anatomy of the triceps and what's different between the overhead position and the neutral position. So let's discuss the anatomy first, and then we'll talk more about practical application here. So there are three heads to the triceps and all three of them across the elbow, but only one of them crosses the shoulder. This blue thing represents the long head and it attaches to the scapula directly. And so what that means is that its length can change depending on where you move your shoulder. And so if you move your shoulder in front of your body, out to the side, any direction upward, this portion of that long head will get stretched, but the other two heads will not because the lateral head, which is the one that sits laterally, attaches right here. And the medial head runs underneath of those two guys and runs again down to the same point on what's called the olecranon. Now, all three of them just straighten the elbow, but changing the shoulder position from being neutral at the side to being overhead will really just make a difference in terms of stretching this long head. So neutral extension, when you extend the elbow, will shorten the long head most. And then when you bring your arm all the way up and overhead, and then you bend your elbow or wherever you can sort of get to, whatever your anatomy dictates, then that'll be the most stretched position of the long head in both positions, training both positions have tremendous merit. So now that we have an understanding of the anatomical differences between these two variations and just the fact that one isn't necessarily better than the other, they just do different things, let's talk about how you can set either one of these things up. So the neutral extension variation, which by the way, you could also do this with a rope, but I prefer to do it single arm. It's just easier to adjust. You're going to grab the ball of the cable, uh, or you could just grab, you know, a regular D handle and sort of attach the D handle, you know, normally. And what you're going to do from there is you're basically just going to stand next to the cable. All right. And I have the cable set a, a little bit above um, the height of my head. You could also set it around eye height, whatever works for you, just sort of subscribing to the principles. The first thing you're going to do is just assess, okay, where is my hand moving? You know, if I just sort of come comfortably relax here and I'm like, hey, what's up? And I bend my elbow, where does it go? For me, it goes slightly up and across, sort of, sort of toward my sternum. And so what I'm gonna basically do from there is I'm gonna imagine that there is a parallel line that this hand is creating and that that parallel line is eventually just gonna become the cable, right? So if I stand too close, then you know it's kind of uncomfortably pulling my arm inward and maybe awkwardly upward. If I stand way too far, then all of a sudden it's like I'm doing a rotator cuff exercise. So you wanna find the middle ground where it's basically not doing very much at all to your shoulder and where it's comfortable loading your elbow. And then from there, you know, excuse me, I just typically like to, lean against the cable stack and make sure that the cable is not too far from me, right? So from this particular angle, I'm not stepped back all the way like this. I'm stepped back, I'm stepped forward rather, nice and close to the cable so that my hand is kind of coming toward my chest and that's gonna make it easier for my shoulder to manage and more stress on my triceps proportionately. So that's pretty much it for the single arm mutual extension. Again, you can also do that with a rope if it's comfortable for you. Pretty simple, you just set your arms here, do the rope extension. But now the overhead extension in my estimation is a little bit harder for a lot of people to set up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by setting the cable around the height of your waist, maybe slightly uh, lower than that but just play around with the cable uh, in tandem with what I'm about to go through just to find the most comfortable spot for you. Now, before you grab the cable, I find it really, really helpful for people just to, with a single arm, because I also think it's helpful just to, to at least learn this single arm before you do a double arm if you want, Take one hand and just reach behind your head and try to, with your hand, grab the other side shoulder blade, right? So for me, grabbing the other side shoulder blade kind of looks like this, and this is where my hand naturally goes to. And on this side, this is where this hand naturally goes to. And so what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna set the cable in a direction where your finger is pointed and where it's mostly parallel to this bone, okay? And the way that you're gonna do that, and I'll do this from behind first so you can see it more clearly, is you're gonna grab it with both hands, you're gonna go basically right back to that position and then you're going to pretend that you just did exactly or you're going to do exactly what you just did which is you're going to reach your hand to your other side shoulder blade now notice that when i do that this cable naturally sort of aligns parallel to this bone right here you can almost draw a straight line in either one of those cases and then all you're going to do from there is just try to make sure that this bone right here doesn't move at all and that you go through the range without sort of pulling with your shoulder this way or this way, right? And so from the front, what that might look like is I grab the handle, grab the cable with both arms, I press it over my head, I reach to that same position that I was, and then I make sure that I'm reaching to my opposite side shoulder blade. 
And again, same exact principle here. Lower with control, push against it with control, making sure that this bone doesn't move too much. Now, the final thing that I want to say about this is that if you are very uncomfortable with the overhead extension at that particular angle, and you find that even reaching to that position is uncomfortable, what you can do is just start at a lower angle and then work upward from there if you so choose. And so what that would look like is instead of um, starting with such a high angle this way, what you could do is you could even keep the same cable angle, but instead of going all the way up here, you just start with your arm lower, right? So maybe like 90 degrees instead of all the way up here. If you start at 90 degrees, and you start at this angle, again, the same principles apply of like, you just see how this cable right here is pretty close to being parallel with this bone. And all I needed to do is basically just step away from the cable stack to do that, right? If you do that, you'll basically just be at a lower angle of flexion, shoulder flexion, raising the arm. And so if I do it from this side now, right? Uh, because I'm at that lower angle, Right, that may be easier for their shoulder to manage and consequently for, uh, you know, that motion or that position to create comfort. So overall, again, the neutral extension with your arms at your side will train a shorter relative position of the long head of the triceps and, you know, a similar length of the other two, just because as I mentioned, they're single joint tissues. They're not affected directly by overhead range or, you know, shoulder position. And then the overhead extension, whether it's all the way up here or even somewhere here is going to train a much more stretched position of the long head, which has other benefits associated with more tension creation in the muscle itself. And then there are other benefits such as just being able to control that shoulder position overhead as you work through the triceps extension. Again, both of these has tremendous value, and I hope that you found each of those brief tutorials helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe, please share it with a friend. It helps a lot. And please let me know if you have any questions about anything triceps related in the comments below.